Today, we were doing an experiment. I want to see... <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> I want to see the difference between my Artist Love silicone oil that I just got, my Argan Oil of Morocco OGX oil that I've had forever, and then I'm also going to be testing coconut oil because I have a surplus of it and I have a stick that I'm just going to use it to drop into the cups. So I will get you set up and we will get started. You guys are actually very, very up high today. So I have a bit of a monitor going on, which is cool. It's just, it's a little delayed. Oh, well, anyways, if you like my idea of this experiment, why don't you consider hitting the like button? And we are going to get started with, well, the Artist Loft oil because, well, why not? So I'm going to stick all three of these aside for now and we will label what one is what once I'm done with each one. I accidentally dripped on this one, but whatever. <laughs> mm. So Artist Loft, Artist Loft. I marked my cups so I know what ones are what, and I do not get them confused. Okay, so there's that. Where did I... Excuse me. I have to go and... What? I'm so confused. <laughs> I've misplaced my cups somehow. Uh, okay. Moving on. I just grab my other pile that I have here and yeah so today's colors we will be using our <clears throat> artist loft in metallic cobalt blue I'm really sorry about my voice I don't I don't know <laughs> just all of a sudden was just like ah, ah, ah. also one thing I'm very happy about is I got paper towels I should probably turn myself off a little piece now and I see, and I say whittle because, well, they're only the half sheets, so why not? Okay, so next is, uh, I'm using uh, is Liquitex Basics in bright aqua green. Yeah, I don't need, a, I don't need a lot of paint. I really don't, and I feel like this might be overdoing it. So on the next two, I'll just put less. This is Artist Loft in metallic blue. There. <laughs> mm, last but not least, Artist Loft in Ooh. metallic purple. I really do like these metallics that they have. They're pretty. So for the couple of them here. I'm only going to add two drops and the rest of them I'm going to add. The other two I'm going to add three because there's more paint. So there. And since I have two sticks already I grabbed like a pile of them because I wasn't messing around this time. There. Mixed in, kind of. Good enough. Alright, so flip cup number one. Artist left. Ale. There. I think I held that upside down to be honest there. Yeah. A L L. Can you even see that? Uh, no, not really. Uh, kind of. <laughs> Alright, so where to start? Where to start? I'll start with the dark blue. Because it's pretty. And then I'll go this. Trying a, diff a little bit of a different layering method, like more of an up high one, see what happens. Uh, and then. Purple. Blue again. Hello, hair. Do 
So, as you saw, my one canvas was a little bit smaller than the rest. So, this should be fun, nonetheless. So, the one canvas is an 8x10, the other two are 9x12s. I believe, haven't measured them, these are old paintings that I re sewed over because it just wasn't really about dealing with it right now. So, this is a... What one was this one? See, I like to stamp bottom of my canvases, handmade with love. Very cute. But I think this one was the coffee swipe. So, here's that. Put a little bit of weight down. That's too much. <laughs> I'm going to scooch everything over for now. Here's my palette knife. Good. So I do like gessoing over my canvases, especially if I'm not like particularly fond of them. Because why would I want to... Yeah. But that's another story. So here we are with used canvases to do my experiment because, well, I didn't really want to use new ones to do an experiment on, considering. So, I'm excited to see how the three play out. I know it's probably like, what the, why a shot glass? Good small vessel. That's why. All right. I'm just getting the excess paint that I have on this thing off on my edges because it just, well, it helps the paint flow off the edges as well, so. Ah. I meant to do that. Oh, that scared me so bad. <sighs> right. Learn my lesson from last time. I don't need a lot of baby powder. Just enough. I can't believe I dropped my cup though. How embarrassing. I know, it's like, you call yourself a professional. Yeah, well, accidents happen. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm just making fun of myself out loud, by the way. I know. Weird, right? If you can't laugh at yourself, I find that's one of those things where it's like, well, you need to learn to be a little bit more happy. So. Not too sure if you can hear my stomach, but it's going a little, a little wild. So. Ugh, there's not enough in there. Okay. That's no big deal though.
Um, yeah, I'm just gonna center this back out and leave it alone because this looks cool the way it is. So yeah. Oh, look at over here like this though. Okay. Glove number one out. So I realize now in hindsight that I'm going to have to move like all of this, but whatever. It's all good. So, all right. Artists. Loved. Silicone. Oil. The next one I'm going to do is the coconut oil because I don't want it to set on me. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. I had to melt it and now I'm afraid it's going to set on me again. So here we are. So yes, Artist Love silicone oil. I need to torch that still. So just give me one second. I saw some purple deciding to pop up when I did that, so this should be cool. All right, onward. Never mind, I had put it down there. So this will be the flip cup. This is the colors that we'll get the coconut oil. So, oh, darn it, do you solidify on me? Kind of. Eh, I can still get a drip off of it here. So, all right. Oop, there was a clump. Oh well. Using the same colors because I want to see the difference in each. Now don't don't yell at me about not remembering layering patterns. That's I got a memory of a goldfish and I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, that made a funny noise. Alright. Oh, I might need to mix up some more. Metallic cobalt blue. By the looks of things. Running a little low. So, to save sticks, right? everyone's getting another drip. There. Oh. Uh, yeah, just to not mess up my experiment, I was going to use that stick to change my mind. Okay. I started with this last time, I know that. Mm. 
gra I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad I gra <laughs> grabbed paper towel before I came down here. That was cold. Because, yes, it's getting colder and colder every day here, and it's, it's getting kind of sad. I don't like the cold. <laughs> so, um, we'll push these up like that. I should still, in theory, have enough baby powder on my hands. These gloves like to break really easy, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so I pushed these up over here for a reason. I am trying to fix my finger right now, it's having a bit of a problem. So, if you like what I'm doing so far, why don't you consider uh, liking this video? And also, uh, if you haven't already, so consider subscribing. I upload videos like these ones every other day. I try to do more fluid art related things. Um, like I said, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I release new content just like this. Um, all this art is for sale as well. Let me know what ones you want. I will tell you if they are for sale. Some of them I have specified and they are not for sale. They went away. Well, they didn't go away. They just didn't disappear, you know? They uh, went to friends. So they were, you know, given away with good intention. Also, all my social media links will be in the description below. So go and check it out. I try to post when I upload there more often than not. Um, it's just one of those, like, it's not that I forget by any means. I forgot to put white down, but whatever. That's all good. She's a little chunky in spots. That is disgusting. What flow troll? <laughs> okay. I'm adding weight to this because I don't want to fight with it anymore. So. And the white paint just makes everything move that much better. Coconut oil seems to be working out well though, it's kind of neat. circle pull around the table. <laughs> Ugh. Okay.
I know I probably just painted my sleeve and at this point it's just like, eh, I don't really care. Okay, that's all that really wants to move, so I'm gonna leave it like that and torch it because it looks neat. And I gotta put baby powder on for the next set. <laughs> okay, so put you over here with your friend. Arrows are your friend. Um, sorry. My bad. Uh, You know, you'd think oil was oil and it all looked the same, but well, apparently not. Okay. I'm worried. Right? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just didn't want to mix up more in the middle of this because that would be a bit of a pain in the bum. So. I gotta mix up more of that before I use more. Um, same with that. Y'all are coming up quite unique, aren't they? Whoa. Okay. Since I figured out I need more paint for those ones than I really thought. There's left. That's the one I need. I'm just gonna roll up my sleeves so they stop falling and I stop painting them. This one feels like it's soaked, but it's not. <laughs> it helps if I add silicone to the- Oh, I'm sorry. So the OGX stuff is the stuff I've used in the past. Um, I have learned that stirring is not always the best. So. I just got to do some quick cleaning and I will be back. Alright, now let's layer this. So now I know I can't add as much as these two, but that's, it's okay. 
I guess. I can just supplement it somehow. <laughs> Okay, that should be good. So much stuff. <laughs> okay. Don't put that out of the way. That's you need that still. Jeez. Me chill. Okay. I'll flip it in a second. Problems of wearing baby powder in your hand on your hands for gloves and then black clothes you just spray it everywhere and then yeah. it gets a little annoying sometimes. Whatever. All right, white. Now mix up a lot of paint and a bit. <laughs> off the palette knife now because we'll keep it clean. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry if I'm quiet, I'm focused. I'm not too sure if you can hear the dishwasher running, but yeah, sorry if you can. I know in the last one you couldn't, so I don't know. 
feel like I need a little bit more white there, but I'm out. Poop. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> That's not gonna work. Um. I don't know. Do I have a lot of anything? No. Darn. Okay. Since that's like, I don't want to mess it up anymore. Um, I usually do want to get full coverage, but at this point, I just want to leave that as is. And yeah. I'm going to see. If I can get anything just by doing that, you know? Because that will be pretty, nonetheless. Right? Yeah. There. Because I have that going on over there, I just was trying to, you know? Have it be somewhat similar. Okay. And last, but not least, let's torch this last one. Neat. I am going to let this. <laughs> I almost took out my camera with my torch. Okay, so I'm gonna let this last one sell out a little bit more because these ones had have ha blah, 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 have had more of a chance. I am going to label that. This one's the OGX though. For me mainly. Uh. And I'll be back for with a flyby because, well, so far, it looks like I might be going back to my OGX because, geez. <laughs> Just, the So the first one as you can see, is the Artist Loft Silicone Oil. Um, I've fallen in love with the silicone oil the minute I started using it and the way that it just creates such specific cells. As, like, I know as weird as that sounds, but it creates such nice little cells in spots like that, or it'll create something like this which is pretty and um, <laughs> I know you can probably see my own light flashing so yeah so this is the artist loft one it's very very pretty in my opinion let me know what you guys think of this one in the comments um, on to the next one it's the coconut oil yeah coconut oil I do like oh this right here is so cool. I am interested to see how this is going to dry considering coconut oil isn't uh, clear. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little uh, translucent, you know? Uh, yeah, it's cloudy nonetheless. As you can see in some spots like that is cloudy already. And then there's this over here that's cloudy already. But I do like this a lot. I don't know if it was the coconut oil that made this or if it was the Floetrol that I mix in all my paint. But either way, so incredibly impressed again. And now, last but not least, including all the drips, the OGX. Okay? This one has so, so many cells. It's a little overwhelming. <laughs> 
uh, it's a very busy painting because of all the cells that's for sure um if i wanted something more simple i would totally go with the coconut oil i do want to see what happens if i mix all of them my favorite part on this one by far has to be this spot up here it is so pretty so pale and really it just it turned into a whole different animal <laughs> that's for sure let me know what you guys think of each one of these ones down in the comments below like this video if you liked my little experiment make sure to share with your friends to spread the love and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all next time